Looking good so far, Tommy. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Uh, anime fan and con right? Yeah, uh, that, that's too big. Huh. Well, fuck it. Uh, sorry, uh, I, of course, am your host of Tom's Prerogative and CNG's Wrestling Reviews right here on the Absolution Network, Thomas Mattis. And uh, welcome to my humble abode. You caught me in the middle of working on my... Uh, my new set, my new desk for uh, Tom's Prerogative, which I'll be, uh, you know, because I'm relaunching into doing YouTube videos again for Tom's Prerogative. Not that this uh, petite dancing figure, so to speak, was made for YouTube. Uh, but, yeah, gonna try it again. Working on the set, got a bunch of stuff I'm working on. Uh, just ignore the D&D stuff uh, and the Queen's Blade, that's gonna be going away. Uh, out from the game I was playing so, uh, last night. Uh, but you got a Batman Shrine, got some good the model kits, uh, Power Ranger Street Fighter, uh, and of course, this, I've pulled bunches of stuff at the like, off screen right now that I'm going to be playing around with on the desk. Like, you know, see what works, what I like, you know, fit my personality for the show. Like, I got this uh, Gundam model kit, uh, Death Sight box signed by Scott McNeil. Uh, and, uh, oh! Wow, I I completely forgot I had this. Ugh, ugh, heavy too. Uh, I don't think this has actually been seen on camera for about a thousand years. This is, of course, the famous uh, Dead Sea Tupperware. Uh, last seen by, I think, a street pet of an agrobot. Let's see. See, it still works. <laughs> uh, please don't go. Don't. Don't go. Or sue me. Uh, <laughs> this is not why I... Uh, I'll put that down first. It's not why I called you here. Uh, the reason I called you here is to let you know that I will be at Anime Next 2018 in Atlantic City at the Atlantic City Convention Center from June 8th to June 10th. Take my glasses there. Uh, I'm going to be doing not one, not two, not three, but four, count them, four wonderful panels that I hope you enjoy. Uh, and for more info about uh, what those panels are, where they'll take place, and when they will be, check out this. The first panel I have is the Toonami Generation Celebrating 20 Years there's a panel. Uh, that takes place on Friday in room 304 at 7.30. This is an hour and a half long panel. Uh, and this panel, we celebrate everything Toonami's past, present, and future. And if you go, make sure you stay at the end. Because at the very end, we do something very special to close out the panel. And if you're not there, you're not there to do it. Uh, I will give you guys warning. You might want to show up a little bit early. Because uh, when I did this panel last, in 2016, it was packed and they were actually having to turn people away from the room. So if you arrive late, you may not be able to get in, so you might want to get there early. Um, the very next panel I have is literally right after the Toonami panel, right across the hall in room 319 at 9pm, and that is the... Urbame, uh, American Urban Culture and its Impact on an American Anime Fandom. I uh, did this panel last, I think, in 2015, and it was a big hit. I'm glad to be able to bring this back. It's a really interesting look at culture and how culture has led to anime's popularity in anime, strictly from its uh, you know being popular in urban culture. Uh, so that's a great panel. I hope you'll come and enjoy the fascinating discussion that we'll have with that panel. Uh, then on Saturday at uh, 7.15 p.m. in room 311, we have the History of American Anime. This is an absolutely wonderful panel in which I explored really the much deeper uh, history of what I can consider, or what I consider, and I think what many people would consider 
uh, to be the existence of um, actual American anime. Not just American is doing the Japanese style, but, you know, animation that we consider to be anime and that was created right here in America. Uh, something that actually, I think, goes all the way back to the 1950s. Again, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, you have to check out the panel. And like I said, that's in room 311 at 715 on Saturday. So come check it out. And then last but not least, the only early panel uh, of the, the, uh, the quote, the, what's, what's for? Uh, quotet. Uh, a quartet or whatever. Anyways, Tommy, a true story in American anime fandom history. Uh, this is a really fascinating, fresh idea of a panel that I'm doing. Uh, in which, you know, I tell the true story of this young anime fan, Tommy, uh, as he, you know, goes throughout the years as an anime fan, and how that coincides with uh, the history of American anime fandom. Uh, and so that's a really fascinating panel. That's, again, in room 311 at 10 a.m. Yes, that's 10 a.m. It's one of the first panels of the day. I hope I'll see you out there. And that is everything we are going to be doing at Anime Next 2018. Of course, I will also be traveling the con floor, looking for wonderful and great cosplay to take pictures of for, of course, the Absolution Network Anime Next a cosplay photo album. So if you're a good cosplayer and you see me, uh, want me to take a picture for the photo album, let me know. Of course, I also may ask you. So uh, I'll be looking for good cosplay. Uh, you may also find me in the game room trying to to, to uh, show up some young people in Tekken. Uh, gonna have a great time, and I hope to see you at Anime Next 2018 in Atlantic City, June 8th to June 10th. And until next time, anime fans, stay golden.